Okay, so we got the engine stripped down here. Probably took about an hour, a little over, just to uh, get the heater pipe that has the nipple that we're going to eliminate off and uh, pull the existing intake. And of course, we drained the coolant out of both the block and the radiator and disconnected the battery so we don't have coolant leaking everywhere and we don't cause any sparks when working with gasoline. So we just test fit this manifold because one of the things you want to check is this bottom edge here and make sure it doesn't interfere on the edge of the block right here. So we put it in place with a gasket and then use an inspection mirror to look underneath it and make sure that we didn't have any conflicts between the bottom edge of the intake and the top of the block and everything looks good. Looks like we have a nice tight seal. So we're gonna get our gasket surfaces cleaned up and install the carburetors because that's easier to do while the intake is off the car and rig all that up and then we're going to take a shot at bolting this in place. Our other challenge, remember we mentioned the dipstick. Here's the hole where the screw-in dipstick went and let's walk over here and take a look at that. Here's the screw-in dipstick that was originally on the car along with its bracket. That's the big piece that screws into the block the dipstick tube fits into and what we found is that the hole in the block is too big to accommodate one of the shorter early car dipsticks and yet the fitting size here is too small for that dipstick to fit. So we're either going to modify this piece to be shorter and fit in there or try and trim one of these uh, dipstick seals and seal it in this mounting hardware. Uh, we'll check back and see what our final outcome is on that.